Before filming the organ tour, the cast need to find out more about the instrument. So, um, before we start turning the cameras on to film the actual episode, we always come and have a look and actually have a look for ourselves at the instrument because we've got to learn things about it. We've got to actually find out what we're actually playing because after all it is the main feature in the show. So, they are really looking after the organ and you can really tell when you actually play it that it's well serviced and well maintained because the tendency with a lot of churches if they don't have an organist there's a feeling well we don't need to keep the organ in it can be a lost soul really I think it really is a wonderful organ really um, what do you think I mean oh well, I think it's quite think, nice yes. yeah um, and obviously yeah. this is where mate all the episode is going to be filmed yeah. it's a shame these facade pipes aren't no. real we thought these were real didn't we Jim we did and but actually, if you look, out, they're actually as fake as anything. There's no air um, going through them. It will just be very nice. It's a lovely place to film it. You can see the chapel over the church. It's just a wonderful. It's so peaceful as well. I think so. The F sharp is still sticking, so the cast need to find the logbook to report the problem. So, ladies and gents, we've discovered that a. Uh, F sharp on the pedal is not working, and uh, as organists, it is just common courtesy to write it down in the book that says that when the organ person next comes, it can be corrected. But I'm having great difficulty finding this book. It's over here somewhere. It's just where. Well, it doesn't appear to have one, which is very strange for working pipe organ. Maybe it's because of the lack of organists. Although we don't have an organist, it would appear to be regularly used. We have a large collection of Argos pencils. <laughs> but apart from that, I mean... Unless we want to give money to, to charity, then... <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, we do have this redundant F-sharp. There, you can hear that there. There's also a problem with the C. Right, I bet if Thomas goes around the back, Let's go around the back. Just listen to the sea. Listen to the sea out, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to sound it, and you can hear the air going through it. For a couple of seconds, you can't actually hear the notes. Here we go. It's kind of distorted, and you can't really make it out, and um, obviously when you're playing a song, it's very really noticeable. It's leaking air anyway, where the F sharp is. It bit. sounds to me as though it's like a straw, if you have a hole in the can straw. You do it, and I'll go around the back have. Let me have a look. And then will you press the F sharp? Yeah. So we're trying to determine where the source of it is coming from. So, where's F sharp, is it, Joe? The lowest one. So from here, you can't hear anything. And this is probably because there's a leak in the pipe. Press it again. It's pressing down now. There you go. And um, okay. it's. Most of the air comes out of the leak and. Obviously, you don't get the sound, which can be a bit of a. Which C? I mean, that's only minor. When you go. The difference between C and D is a big change. Can you see that difference there? It's just a massive. The C one is so quiet. The advantage is to have an electric organ, eh? <laughs> so there we are. As you can see here, this is the mechanism that moves. I think the pedal should be moving as I'm moving this. This is the mechanism that moves all the shutters. Very interesting. Yeah. So there we are. Lights out. The cast have finally finished filming, so all that's left to do is to turn the organ off and lock up. So we're nearly finished filming, and just a few checks that we need to make. First, let's just make sure that the organ is still functioning before we turn it off, just in case anyone blames us for breaking it. But it all appears to be functioning nicely. Right, so, make sure everything's off, make sure the flaps are widely open, as you can hear. <laughs> right, now we need to turn the blower off. You can tell that it's definitely off because the, the, all the air is so quiet now, and it's um, interesting. We've, we'll put the service back on here, where it was, this it was left yeah. there like that. And there. Right. So, and there we have, we've got the books and everything, so there we are. Yes, you're right. 
Thank you. Hopefully we'll have more success opening the door this time round. You like this view? Is listening out for the uh, iPad case coming on? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be really loud for you, won't it? So uh, we've got this here, we've got my coat, I'll just put my coat on. So, it's... Um, Lights out and school's out. out. So let's, uh, let's go. And you notice these stairs are shaking a lot. What a lovely candlestick holder there, that is. Look at that one Ooh, there. Can't see it now. <laughs> the ground floor didn't feature much in our episodes. But you might as be worth pointing out this. Look at this, it's all blue. Looks like school, that. Russell. Yeah, it looks like the Russell stained glass window, yeah. yeah. Anyways, so, uh, it's the most interesting part of the day. Do you have the key? Trying to evacuate the building. Thomas and Joe's ordinary extravaganza is committed to safeguarding the church. <laughs> Carry on there. Yeah, yeah well, see, real care protecting the lock. Is that locked? Yeah. That's locked. Okay. Thank you, uh, church. Many people. We got out of the morning. Oh, it's raining again. Hmm. Is it iron thing? Yes. Is there are the farmer's arms right. over there? 